This is the Kirov-class battlecruisers, also known as Project 1144 Orlan, a series of nuclear-powered guided missile heavy cruisers developed by the Soviet Union in the late 1970s and early 1980s. These vessels were designed to serve as multi-purpose warships capable of engaging various threats, including enemy aircraft carriers and submarines. The class consists of four ships, Kirov, later Admiral Ushakov, Frunze, later Admiral Lazarev, Kalinin, later Pyotr Veliki, and Yuri Andropov, later Orlan. With a displacement of around 24,300 tons, they are among the largest surface combatants in the world, second only to aircraft carriers. Their design reflects a combination of advanced weaponry and nuclear propulsion, allowing for extended operational ranges and high speeds of up to 32 knots. The Kirov class is armed with an impressive array of weaponry. Each ship features 20 P-700 Granite SSN, 19 shipwreck anti-ship missiles, which are capable of striking large surface targets. For air defense, they are equipped with multiple S-300F launchers and OSA-MA batteries, providing a robust shield against aerial threats. Additionally, these cruisers possess a variety of secondary armaments, including 130mm guns and torpedo launchers for anti-submarine warfare. The Kirov class was intended to operate effectively in a Cold War context, providing both offensive and defensive capabilities across multiple domains. Despite their formidable design and capabilities, the Kirov class has faced significant operational challenges. Only two of the four ships remain active today, with one of them, the Pyotr Veliki, having been largely inactive since 1999 due to maintenance issues. The aging vessels suffer from outdated systems and high operational costs, which have raised questions about their continued utility in modern naval warfare. Moreover, advancements in anti-access or area denial technologies have rendered these large ships vulnerable to modern threats, complicating their role in contemporary naval strategies. As Russia navigates its current geopolitical landscape, discussions continue regarding the future of the Kirov-class battlecruisers. While there are considerations for upgrading or even constructing new vessels of this class, the practicality of such investments is debated. Critics argue that the high maintenance costs and crew requirements make them less viable compared to more modern naval assets. Ultimately, the fate of the Kirov class reflects broader trends in naval warfare, emphasizing the need for adaptability in an era where traditional battleship roles are increasingly challenged by new technologies and tactics.